Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to read you one of my favorite books, The Train to Timbuktu. I like this book because I love trains, and I hope you like this as much as I do. Clackety clack, clackety clack. There was a big train, and clickety click, clickety click, clickety click. There was a very little train. They were on their way home to Timbuktu, and they had just left the town of Kalamazoo. Slam, bang, grease the engine, throw out the throttle and give it the gun. There was a big engineer who drove the big engine. And slam, bang, grease the engine, throw out the throttle and give it the gun. There was a little engineer who drove the little engine. When the big engine went through a tunnel, the big engineer blew his whistle. Woo! When the little engine went through the tunnel, the little engineer blew his whistle. Wee! And clackety clack, clackety clack. Throw out the throttle and give it the gun. Woo! Wee! Out from the big tunnel came the big engine with the big engineer and the big coal car and the big baggage car and the big passenger car and the big dining car and the big sleeping car and the little caboose. And then out from the little tunnel came the little engine with the little engineer and the little coal car and the little baggage car, and the little dining car, and the little sleeping car, and a little caboose. Clickety-click, clickety-click, clackety-clack, clackety-clack, woo-wee! That great big train, and that little tiny train went roaring by. Then clackety-clack, clackety-clack, the big train came to a big bridge over a big river. And over the big bridge went the big engine with the big engineer and the big coal car and the big baggage car and the big passenger car and the big dining car and the big sleeping car and the little caboose. Then clickety click, clickety click, the little train came to a little bridge over a river, over a little river and clickety click clickety click over the little bridge went the little engine with the little engineer and the little coal car and the little baggage car and the little passenger car and the little dining car and the little sleeping car and the little caboose and clickety click clickety click clackety clack clackety clack pocket up pocket up pocket up pocket up pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up the trains rolled on toward Timbuktu, far down the track from Kalamazoo, until far away against the sky there was a great big railroad station, and far away against the sky there was a little railroad station. Woo! Wee! While ringing their bells, dong, 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 ding, 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 that great big train with a puff, puff, puff. And that little tiny train with a piff, piff, piff came home to Timbuktu. And if you switch the names of the towns in the front of the book, you can get back to Kalamazoo. From Kalamazoo to Timbuktu, it's a long way down the track. And from Timbuktu to Kalamazoo, it's just as far to go back. From Timbuktu to Kalamazoo, from Kalamazoo and back. A long, long way, a long, long way, a long way down the track. From Kalamazoo to Timbuktu, from Timbuktu and back. The end. Now I'd like to show you some cute pictures that made me really like this book. If you look closely, you can see this nice, cute swirl, almost like a candy cane on this signal. 
and you can see the big engineer and the little engineer are both wearing the same striped apron and hat. Oh, you can see. It's like going to Timbuktu, to Kalamazoo, and back in a big circle. Almost like what they said at the end of the book. Now this big red thing here has kind of a funny name. It's called a cow catcher because it literally catches cows that are on the track and pushes them safely away so they don't get hurt by the train. And you can see the big black smoke coming from the big engine and the little gray smoke coming from the little engine. Oh, and look, the little engine is going to Timbuktu and coming from Kalamazoo. Oh, looks like this little engineer is surprised of something ahead. Maybe it's his coal that's jumping up. And this big engineer is ringing the bell over here. It's very cool, this little handle. It's a brake for the train, so if this engine ever breaks, this train will come to a stop safely. And look, you can see the pistons coming on the train that moves the wheel around and around. Oh, look at these cute birds that flew out of the tunnel after they were startled by the train. And this man looks very relaxed. Ooh, look at these people having fun and drinking some tea. But shh, make sure you don't disturb these people because they're sleeping. And it's the little engineer. Look, he's a lot more happy now that he's out of the tunnel. And look at this cute little fluffy squirrel that's waving hi. Oh, these children are having so much fun with a lollipop and a candy cane. And this adorable caboose with a pink roof and this little chimney. In case anyone inside gets cold, they can light a fire. And look at all this nice little town. You can see the train came from here and went around and across another bridge and over a little river and then came down like this and across this big bridge. And look at all these nice fields of hay and these ships coming down the river. Wow, that's a really big ship. And all these little tiny houses. Oh look, it's the big ship again. Oh, and look at this little town. <laughs> that lazy shepherd got too tired while watching his sleep, his sheep and fell asleep. And these cows are grazing here. There's cute little apples growing on the apple trees. And this lady is waving hi to the train as it goes by. Can you see this little structure? This is a level crossing and it stops cars from crossing the tracks while there's a train there. And woo wee, the engines are starting to come. So this level crossing is starting to close. If you look at this track, these white things are the rails which the train runs on. And these brown things are called sleepers. So let me tell you a joke. Do you know why you should never sleep on a train? I can't hear anyone knowing the answer, so let me tell you. You should never sleep on a train because trains run on sleepers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these pictures and this book as much as I do. I'd love to hear from you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.